Hello viewers, welcome to my YouTube channel Chem Corona. Today we are going to discuss non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Myself, Mayuresh Rao, Assistant Professor, Department of Pharmaceutical Chemistry, Sihagad Institute of Pharmaceutical Sciences. By the end of this lecture, students should be able to understand and define pyrexia, inflammation and analgesic. They should be also able to classify different categories of analgesic and anti-inflammatory drugs. Describe mechanism of action of various classes of anti-inflammatory drugs and discuss structure activity relationship of anti-inflammatory drugs. Now let us understand what do you mean by analgesics. Analgesics are the drugs that reduce the pain. Whereas antipyretics are the drugs that reduce the elevated body temperature. That means fever. Anti-inflammatory agents are the drugs that cure or prevent inflammation which is caused by prostaglandins. So Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs are used to reduce pain, fever and inflammation. They are called as non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs because they do not contain steroidal nucleus. There are five cardinal signs of inflammation. Rubor, tumor, dolor, color and functioliza. Rubor means redness. Dolor means pain, color means change in the color and functioliza that means loss of function. So whenever there is inflammation, we can see these five cardinal signs of inflammation. Heat, redness, swelling and pain. These were the signs which were introduced by Celsius in 30 BC. Whereas loss of function was introduced by Virchow in 1902. Classification of NSAIDs. These NSAIDs are classified into different categories. First is salicylic acid derivatives. Example is aspirin, diflunisal, salsalate, paraaminophenol derivatives. Example is paracetamol and phenacetine. Anthranilic acid derivatives. They are also called as phenamates. Example is mephenamic acid, flufenamic acid, meclofenamate. Pyrazolidine dione derivatives, example phenylbutazone, oxyphenbutazone. Aryl alkanoic acid derivatives are further subcategorized in different categories. We have indole acetic acid derivatives, example indomethacin, indine acetic acid derivative, example is sulindac, pyrrole acetic acid derivative, example is tolmetine and zomipyrac, propionic acid derivative. That is ibuprofen, ketoprofen, fulorbiprofen, phenyl acetic acid derivative, example is diclofenac and acyclofenac. The next case we have is oxycams, example pyroxicam, tenoxicam, maloxicam. Miscellaneous, which includes nabumetone, nimesulide, and selective COX2 inhibitors, that is selecoxib, rofecoxib, and valdecoxib. Now let us discuss these categories in detail one by one. First is salicylates. Salicylic acid is a natural product which is present in the bark of willow and poplar trees. It was isolated by French chemist in 1827. Salicylin was oxidized to salicylic acid. In 1875, a Swiss pharmacist that is Lovig distilled meadow sweet flowers and got salicylaldehyde. So these are the different drugs which belongs to salicylate class. Sodium salicylate which is nothing but salicylic acid in unionized form has a bad taste. Thus a sodium salt is prepared. We have next that is sodium thiosalicylate. It contains SH group. You can see here. It is used in rheumatic fever and acute gout. It is available in injectable form. Choline salicylate. It is absorbed faster than aspirin producing higher salicylate blood levels and 
an aqueous formulation is also available. Salsalate. Salsalate is a diester of salicylic acid. You can see here, these are two salicylic acid moieties which are combined together to get salsalate. The sodium salt is freely soluble in water and it helps in its dissolution and faster absorption. Salsalate is insoluble in gastric pH but soluble in small intestine thus causing less gastric problems. Salicylamide and Diflunisal. Salicylamide is an isoster of salicylic acid. It contains NH2 group. The OH is replaced by NH2 to produce non-acidic amide which is stable in aqueous preparation. It has greater CNS penetration and it does not have anti-inflammatory action whereas Diflunisal is 3 to 4 times more potent and long acting than aspirin. It has an additional extra aromatic ring you can see here which contains two fluorine groups. The most important drug of salicylate class is aspirin. Aspirin is synthesized by acetylation of salicylic acid using acetic anhydride. Chemically it is called as acetyl salicylic acid because it contains an acetyl group and the basic nucleus is salicylic acid. It is indicated for relief of minor aches and mild to moderate pain for reducing risk of transient ischemic attack. The next drug we have is benorylate. Benorylate is a prodrug ester of aspirin and acetaminophen. If you see the structure we can see here it consists of a aspirin and acetaminophen. So two drugs combined together gives benorylate. So it is a prodrug ester of aspirin and acetaminophen. Now let us discuss a share of salicylates. The active moiety of salicylates is salicylic anion and the side effects of aspirin are due to the presence of COOH group. If we reduce the acidity of the carboxyl group it results in change in the potency of the activity that is example is salicylamide. Salicylamide retains the analgesic action of salicylic acid but it is devoid of anti-inflammatory properties. Substitution on either COH or phenolic OH will affect the potency and toxicity. Orthoposition of OH is required for activity and placement of phenolic OH either at meta or para position abolishes the activity. Substitution of halogen atom on the aromatic ring enhances the potency and toxicity whereas substitution of aromatic ring at the fifth position of salicylic acid it increases the anti-inflammatory activity example is diflunisal. The next class is para aminophenols. The drugs which are included under this category are acetanilide, phenacetine and paracetamol. You can see here the basic nucleus which is present is acetanilide. If we substitute it with OCH2, CH3, it gives phenacetine and if we replace it with OH, we get paracetamol. So, these drugs are useful for pain and fever but they are not useful for treating inflammation. That means they have analgesic and antipyretic activity but they do not have anti-inflammatory activity. In 1886, the first drug acetanilide was introduced as analgesic and antipyretic agent but it was removed from the market due to toxicity because it had ability to produce methemoglobinemia and jaundice. In 1887, phenacetine was introduced but in 1970s it was removed because it produced nephrotoxicity. In 1893, acetaminophen that is paracetamol was introduced 
it had better tolerance and lower incidence of gastric bleeding and its mechanism of action is also different compared to salicylates now let us discuss the sar of para aminophenols acetanilide is more toxic than paracetamol etherification of phenolic oh by ethyl gave phenacity which is active but etherification with methyl and propyl produce derivatives with greater side effect substitution on nitrogen decreases the basicity and also decreases the activity amides derived from aromatic acid gave n phenyl benzamide which are less active or inactive the third class is phenamides they are also called as anthranilic acid derivatives the drugs which are included in this category include mefenamic acid and meclofenamate they contain 2- and 3- disubstituted compounds mefenamic acid has only one substituent that is the 2- methyl and thus ensures non coplanarity whereas meclofenamate sodium has two such groups that is the chlorine atoms and the methyl group meclofenamate is 25 times more potent than meclofenamate is 25 times more potent than mefenamic acid so that's why the dose is different the dose for meclofenamate is 25 mg whereas the dose for mefenamic acid is 250 mg sar of phenamates substitution on anthranilic acid ring reduces the activity anthranilic acid derivatives are active while meta or para amino benzoic acid analogs are not active substitution on n aryl ring leads to conflicting results the order of activity is 3 dash greater than 2 dash greater than 4 dash for mono substitution with CF3 group in disubstituted derivatives the nature of the two substituents is same substituents on n aryl ring force the ring out of coplanarity with anthranilic acid ring enhance binding of the drug with active site on the enzyme nh moiety of anthranilic acid is essential for activity if we replace this nh function with o ch2 s CH3 or NCOCH3 there is reduced activity replacement of COH with tetrazole isoester retains the activity the next category is pyrazolone and pyrazolidine dione derivatives we can see here this is the structure of pyrazole and this is pyrazolone at fifth position there is presence of c double bond o so that's why it is called as 5 pyrazolone the general structure for 5 pyrazolone derivatives is indicated here the drugs which belong to this class is antipyrin aminopyrin and dipyrone antipyrin is the prototype drug of this class and its antipyretic and analgesic activities were discovered by accident whereas aminopyrin is an analog more potent and longer acting but it possesses significant incidences of a granulocytosis leading to death and it is used only in otic drops dipyrone is a prodrug which spontaneously decomposes in aqueous solution to give aminopyrin we have three five pyrazolidine dione derivatives also because they contain two keto groups at 3 and 5 position so that's why they are called as three five pyrazolidine dione derivatives you can see here at three position and at fifth position there is presence of c double bond o group the drugs which include phenylbutazone oxyphenbutazone and sulfine pyrazone pyrazolidine dione they are acidic because 
the diketone has the ability to tautomerize it.